Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. And today, we are going to take a crack at the Dark Aether again, and we're going to try to enter with an Elder Sigil. I'm going to attempt at trying to unlock some of these classified schematics. Like, ideally, I'd like the golden armor plates, but really everything. I really need to unlock everything. Most of my videos, especially the ones where I fail at things, people always talk about, oh, you need the gold armor plates, you need the aether blade, have the dog bone. Since I don't have them, I kind of need them. So let's make a uh, run at this and see how well it goes. Okay, so obviously to get to the dark aether, we need a sigil. And I currently don't have any sigils. So to get those, you do need to complete contracts in tier three. And then you get a regular sigil. And then if you go into the dark aether, you get the, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name of it. The, the elder, the elder sigil. And once you have an elder sigil, you can then go back, uh, you have to enter, you know, leave the Dark Aether and then re-enter through the portal using that uh, Elder Sigil. And you're back in there where, <clears throat> that's my understanding of how then you unlock the gold armor plates and stuff like that, because you'll get the schematics for it. I think if you're just in the regular Dark Aether, you just get the items to use, like a one-time use. But if you get the schematic, then obviously you can craft it with a ridiculous cool downtime. Too ridiculous in my opinion. So we're gonna go complete a contract. Uh, thinking back on it, I am pretty certain I have never completed a contract in tier three, but I was watching a crazy video this morning of someone just completing contracts with a two plate vest and running around with their fists. So I'm gonna try this out and see if I can do it. So one thing I've heard is rooftops are your friend here. So just try and stay on rooftops as much as you can. Decoys are also good. I mean, I do have the the pulley grenade, whatever it's actually called. I don't know, this thing down here. Uh, I do have that. Let me throw on the decoy, though, because I'd rather save the pulley grenade for dark ether so the video i watched the guy yeah bought a bunch of them oh no <laughs> the contract was taken from me yeah first come first serve i guess all right we'll try an outlast see if i can maybe do an outlast by just running around so i should probably find an ammo thing then really quick to fill up oh 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 <laughs> No ammo things. Okay, well, we'll just try the... We'll just be bold. Oh, boy. Okay, off to a bad start. Oh, upstairs. Where's the stairs? Here's the stairs. Oh, boy. see I might have to use yep got to use it I shouldn't have switched. I knew my health was low. I'm really only switching to try and kill the hellhounds. Oh no! Oh boy! <laughs> Okay, this is fine. I'm still in the area. There we go. All right. Where's 
that. Oh. <laughs> Reward drift. I think I need that. Oh. No. <laughs> Okay, time to get out of here. Let's see what else has popped up. Oh! Phew. Video I saw made it seem so easy to just run around here. It is not. Or I'm just bad. Boot up the P and D squad. Don't let Barrera's team sacrifice P and Thing. With hypersonic frequencies that will shake these crystals apart. Sorry to cut you off, Barrera. Frank team, you have hostiles inbound. Just trying to figure out how am I gonna run this. This is such a tight area here. Oh, that's right, I do want to kill the, the hounds. Probably not good to be up here, but what I'll do is run away. <laughs> this is sad. I'll run out, that's fine, and then run back in. Oh, you didn't die. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Huh. this where's the reward drift oh there we go okay i got a sigil perfect okay i can just get out of here well actually i need to go buy uh darn i was hoping there was gonna be more because i do need because in the aether the dark aether there's the extraction the aether extraction contract so it's got the three um, rockets that you have to, you know, launch or stop the launch. And the thing with that is there's a bunch of zombies that are on them and it takes time to activate it. So I got to use the pulley grenades to pull enemies off of it. Oh, gosh. Get off the buy station, please. Thank you very much. Is the mimic off of it? Yes. Okay. Let's go buy one. Gotta be quick. Well, you know, actually, now that I think about it, I have the sigil, right? That's the main thing I need. Secondarily, I want as many of these as possible. I don't need to complete contracts in Tier 3 to do that. So, let's go do some contracts out here in Tier 2 to just try and get me more moolah, or essence. And then I can just go back into Tier 3, buy the pulley grenades... And then go over to the rift, the Dark Aether. Okay, so we're back in tier three. So my goal is to just buy 
two more of the pulley grenades, and then a self-revive. And I have no idea how much self-revives are, so if I can buy more than one, that would be fantastic. But I might not even be able to buy one, because I don't know how much they are. I have a feeling this is going to be a little tough. Okay. I think that should be okay. Alright, so let's head to the Dark Aether. Okay. Yes. I want to go. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, it refilled my plates. That's fantastic. Okay. So I'm going to try and just avoid as much as possible. I say that as and then I just start shooting. <laughs> but I feel like the Hellhounds are about the only thing that you just can't outrun. Okay, and I, I know this time there is a timer. I'm going to avoid the dog this time because there's the zip. Okay. Oh, what? No! Okay, it's fine. I have self-revives. Okay, get out of here. Oh, what is that? Glowing light on my gun. Oh, shoot. This is where the outlast is. Oh, no. I'm screwed. Get out of here, zombies. Oh. This is not good so far. You like it's right here, yeah. Okay. Uno mas. Ooh, I think I picked up another one of those holy grenades somewhere. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to do this wild. Dark Sigil. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, right over that. Okay. Uh, now for the next one. Well, that's my first time completing that, and I got the Elder Sigil. That's nice. I feel like I should just get out of here. Honestly. I feel like it's stupid of me to try and go for this one. But sometimes I am just a big fool. It's like, I don't know, place it here. Centrigun deployed. And I have no idea why my gun has this like annoying um glow on it that's new okay so a strategy i've seen is you can come up here and apparently just run back and forth and the zombies will throw uh the like yeah um the rocks or whatever at you oh a fire got me 
That was foolish of me. Apparently you are supposed to move a little bit more and I probably should have ran away from the fire. Okay, 90%. Oh my goodness, I'm about to do this, I think. Oh. 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 Oh no. It's going down. Get him. Ooh. Okay. Now I just need to get out of here. Uh, which I forget where the exits are. I think it's up top here somewhere. Ooh, that was wild. Okay. Uh, one of these roofs has an exit. Is it this one? Nope. Nope. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did this. Oh. Now, the reason I didn't do the last one, the escort, is I just I don't think I can get away with like not using guns like, I think you have to use guns on that one so and I just don't have anything prepped for that and I was really coming in for the Elder Sigil so I got that that is fantastic okay so now I have the Elder Sigil so we're gonna go back in and kind of just try and do the same strategy for those two contracts and hopefully get the schematics out of it and then get out of there. So let's go do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little prep work. Um, I'm gonna still try not to use weapons. I'm really only using the weapons for the dogs, the hellhounds, which I know you can use the throwing knives, but I'm kind of not great with the throwing knives. I miss a lot. Cool. Um, so I want to try and pack a punch these to level three and then also get like a bunch of self revives and the uh, more of the pulley grenades. Okay, so I need one Casimir. PhD flopper. Oh, and Jugnog. I want Jugnog. Alright, so now one Casimir. And then as many self revives as I can get. Okay. And I'm out. Alright, I'm as prepped as I can be. Okay. Spend the Elder Sigil. Okay. This time we only have 15 minutes. So I gotta be really quick. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna try the knife on the dogs. Boy, you're a big boy. So far, it's just like before. Oh, why can't I interact with it? Oh.
That scared me for a sec because it kind of went away. Uh-oh. This isn't good. I mean, this is the right way. Oh, no. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. Okay, I think this will work. Let me go up. Okay, good. So far, just like before, still like before. <laughs> Let me interact. Okay, perfect. On to the, oh, that's right, war to it. <laughs> Should probably grab what's in here. That is one big difference between the regular sigil and the elder. You do have half of the time, so you do got to be a little careful. Uh, what can I... Can I drop that? Recipe perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Actually, I really want the golden plates, which I believe you get from this one. I think the recipes are, um, they're not random. I think they are per contract. So, the, yeah, the dog bone is from that one. And then, uh, the gold plates should be from this one. And then the, what will be the last one? I can't remember what the last classified thing is. Dog bone, plates, and, oh, that's right. I wanted to do this. Oh, that's really not smart of me to do it when there's a dog coming up on me. I just want to place it. <laughs> that was really stupid of me. <laughs> I should not have done that at all. Uh, knives are really nice. Oh, brutal. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm close though. I'm almost done. I think I have one, maybe two more self revives, so I think I have this. Ooh. Until that happens. Okay, let's just throw one more just to get it out. Okay, so now I just need to get out of here. Which I don't remember how, so we'll kind of just run around. I know it's up top. Probably should have saved my last Casimir. Okay. I think, oh, right there. Perfect. Alrighty. Well, there we have it. Finally have some of the classified schematics unlocked. That feels really good to have done. I will go back in at some point and do the Aether Blade. Uh, just the only way I've seen that done with just fists is if you have the VR11. Because the VR11 will heal the ACV. So you can kind of do the same strategy of just moving around and just kind of dodging zombies. And then just shoot the ACV with the VR11. And since I don't have the VR11, I can't really do that right now. But I will eventually go in and I'll probably just try and do it with guns. But, you know, who knew that just using your fists was a valid strategy for Tier 3 and the Dark Aether? I mean, I wouldn't have figured that out until I saw a video on it. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, my take on running around with the fists and following along as I try and unlock some of the classified schematics. Until the next one, peace.